Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1348. Hey, if you want to download this Excel file so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. In this video, we got to talk about lookup adding. And we'll see how to do this lookup adding for exact match lookup and approximate match. Now, this question comes from Simona, and she wanted to know if there's an easier way to do VLOOKUP plus VLOOKUP plus. Now, in this example here, we have transactional records. These are products. And we actually need to get total cost and total revenue. Now, instead of stacking all the VLOOKUPs in the individual cell to get total cost, we could simply create a helper column, VLOOKUP each one of the products in this column, and then come over here and add them all up. What did we do? We looked up the costs and then added them. Look up adding. Now, if you want to do this in a single cell, which is, I think, what Simona was asking, we can definitely do this. But instead of VLOOKUP, we use the sum ifs function. Now, the trick to sum ifs is that we're going to get sum ifs to return this entire helper column simultaneously to this single cell. Now, the sum range actually has to be the items, or in our case, numbers that we want to bring back to the cell, comma. And the criteria range has to be the first column of the lookup table. And I need to lock this one, because as I copy it from total cost cell over to total revenue, I need this product column locked, but not the cost column. So I hit the F4 key, comma. And now the criteria one argument. This argument usually expects a single value. If I give it a single value, that tells some ifs to spit out a single answer. But watch this. I'm going to simultaneously give it the entire column of lookup values and hit the F4 key. By putting more than one item into this argument, we're doing what is called a function argument array operation. I have many items here, so that tells some ifs to spit out many items simultaneously. We come to the end, close parentheses. And now with my cursor at the end, I'm going to use the F9 key to evaluate this. And look at that, 1165, 1312, 1769. I have simulated this helper column and simultaneously looked up and returned multiple items. Control Z. Now, of course, for this to work, this criteria range right here has to have exactly one of each item, just like a VLOOKUP exact match first column would. And then the sum range has to have those items we potentially are looking up and returning. Now, if I hit Enter, this is not going to work because a cell cannot hold multiple items. It only shows the first one. But remember, that's all these items from this. And what do we want to do? We want to add them. Now, I would like to use the sum function, but because we made a function argument array operation right there, it would require the special keystroke control shift enter. So instead of sum, when we have an array we need to add, we use sum product. Now, sum product has two parts, product part and sum part. We're not using the product part, because all we're going to use is that first array one, it simply holds it. Normally, the product part takes array times array times array and then adds. By only putting a single array here, it does just the sum part, the adding part. Now, why do we use this? Because the array one argument in some product is one of the very few function arguments that can handle an array operation without that special keystroke. So now I come to the end and hit Enter. And there it is in a single cell. If I come over here, highlight all of this and this, and delete, boom, it does it without any of that help in a single cell. Now I'm going to Control-Z just to leave that there as a trail. Now notice we have all the right cell references, so we simply drag this over to the side, and now Instead of cost, it's looking at retail price. Now, that is lookup adding when we do exact match. 
Now we want to see how to do it with approximate match. Now here's our data set, individual transaction. Each one of these numbers represents the number of rolls of fences sold. Now here's our lookup table. This is going to be approximate match. For 0 to 143 rolls sold, it's $198 per roll. 144 to 288, 187 bucks. Now, if we were doing this with a helper column, we would need to do two things. We'd need to look up the price for 540, which would be 168 bucks, and then we need to multiply it by 540, get that individual amount, and then we'd come over here and add. So this is definitely look up a bunch of items, meaning prices for each one of these items, then multiplying by the actual number of rolls and then adding. Now here's the formula, and it's not VLOOKUP approximate match. I use the original lookup function. Now this lookup function only does approximate match. And if you're doing approximate match, it's actually easier to use than VLOOKUP. Not only that, but when we get down to our formula and we do a function argument array operation, VLOOKUP can't do it, but lookup can. Now, all lookup is doing is it's looking up 540. And if I were to highlight this and hit the F9 key, it's properly getting 168 bucks, then multiplying. So we want to simulate this entire helper column and then add to get that total. Now, we're going to come to the cell, equals, and lookup, not VLOOKUP. The lookup value is expecting a single item, like 540. But no way, I'm going to do a function argument array operation and give it all of the number of rolls for lookup value. Because we put many items into lookup value, that instructs lookup function to spit out many items, comma. And then we're doing the second argument down here, lookup value array. That array is just like the lookup table. Remember, approximate match will find the right category from the first column and then well, wait a second. In VLOOKUP, we'd have to tell it 1, 2, the third column. But we don't have to do that with LOOKUP. LOOKUP always takes the item from the last column. So all we have to do is enter that, close parentheses. Now, if I evaluate this, notice the cursor's at the end, using F9, there's the simulated helper column for the individual prices. Now. The next step is to take that resultant array and multiply each individual item times each individual number of rolls, and then add. Control-Z, that's the perfect job for the sum product function. Now, sum product just a second ago, we only used array 1, so it only did the summing. But we're going to take that entire array of prices, come to the end, comma, to get to Array 2, and now we highlight the number of rolls. And some product will do its thing. It will take Array 1 times Array 2, multiply them, and then add. Close parentheses. When I hit Enter, that is a single cell. If I were to delete all of these, that is amazing. Now I'm going to click Escape and Control-Z to bring that back so we left a trail of what we've done. Now let's look at one other example. And this actually may be more exactly what Simone was doing. I need the total cost for each one of these teams. These are contractors working on various projects. Over here are all the contractors. And here's our contractual rate in dollars. So what I really need to do is VLOOKUP for MIDI, get the contractual rate. VLOOKUP for EARL, get the contractual rate. But no problem, I do not want to do 10 VLOOKUPs here. So this is exact match, so I use SUM IFS. The SUM range is the last column of the lookup table. Control, Shift, Down Arrow, F4 to lock it. You can see right there, that's the SUM range. Comma, criteria range, the entire first column of our lookup table. I'm holding Shift and clicking on the last cell, and now I'm going to hit F4. Comma. And now we do our function argument array operation and put every single item that we want to look up and retrieve the price. Now, we put a bunch of items here. So that instructs some ifs to spit out a bunch of answers. 
And that's a relative cell reference, because as we copy the formula over, it needs to move to team 2 and then team 3. Close parentheses. And let's F9 this to verify. That is awesome. It simultaneously looked up each one of the items, returned it in a resultant array, Control-Z. We don't need to multiply that by anything. We just need to add. I don't want to use sum, because then I'd require a special keystroke. So I use sum product to take advantage of the fact that the array one argument can handle that and doesn't require a special keystroke. So now when I enter, that's the total. I can copy this over. Go to the last cell, hit F2, and verify. That is amazing. Now, for this particular example right here, there is another way to do this. But we couldn't do it if it said Team 1, Team 2, Team 3. Now, if we thought of this as a database, and we were able to put the field name contractor at the top of each column, which might not work for our particular report, we actually wouldn't have to do anything special. We could use the dsum function. Now, the d is for database. The sum is for adding. Now, there's lots of d functions, d count, d counta, d standard deviation. But we want dsum. Now, there's three arguments. The first one is you need a database. And what that means is you have to have field names at the top, records in rows, our definition of a proper data set. Now, I'm going to lock this with the F4 key. So as I copy it to the side, it's locked on the database. Now we type a comma. And the field says, which one of those fields over there do you want to add? We have 1, 2, so our field is number 2. Now you can put the name of the field. Or in this case, I'm going to put a 2, which means add from the second column, comma. The third argument is criteria. And you always have to have the field name. And in our case, if you have multiple items to look up and then add, you simply list one on each row. Now, that is a relative cell reference. That will work perfect. Close parentheses. Control-Enter. Copy it to the side. I'm going to go to the last cell and hit F2 to verify that all the cell references are working. All right, that was a lot of fun with lookup adding. If you happen to have field name and items to look up and a proper data set, we can simply use dsum. If we do not have a proper data set or don't have field names at the top, no problem. For exact match lookup, we can use sum ifs and sum product. We can also do approximate match lookup with the lookup function. In this example, we actually took that resultant array, multiplied it times number of rows, and then added. And we started off with a common exact match lookup and adding for total costs and total revenue. All right, that was a lot of fun with lookup adding. We'll see you next video.